welcome to my review of the Covenant Storm Lance set by Megablocks. Today, Ben is doing your review. The set number is DLB96. This set is a sister set to UNSC Fire Team Stingray. Both sets are Spring 2016 set, but are out a little bit early. So as you can see from this box, we get two elites. One is the brand new Elite Warrior, a Storm Grunt, and a Jackal, but this time in a purple body, rather than the typical grey that we see. So if we've turned the box around, we can see what the set includes a little bit better before opening the set. We get two barricades, which we haven't seen since 2011 in the Revenant Raid, a plasma coil, which we've only seen once in a Battlescape, a Storm Rifle, a Covenant Carbine, a Needler, a Plasma Pistol, and two Plasma Grenades. So, I'm just going to stop this for a sec, open it up, and show you what's inside. I've now opened up the Covenant Storm Lance, and I must say, it is a phenomenal set. As you know, if you've seen the Instagram page, I like Covenant a lot. Uh, this set introduces one brand new mould against Fire Team Stingray, which introduces three. But I think this one new mould is actually better than the three in the other one. And it is, as you've probably seen already, this elite officer. If I can just get it in front of the camera properly. And get it to focus. There we go. Uh, this figure is amazing. Um, I, when I first saw the art from it, it was from the Watchtower set. But it's also come out in this as well, and I cannot complain. These things are very common in Halo 4 and 5. Um, I was hoping that we'd get more Elite Mold, and, well, my wish has come true. Uh, if we turn this, uh, look at the figure in a bit more detail... It has a huge chest plate. If I bring the Storm Elite over, which is also a very nice figure, not that you can probably see that well on camera, but I'll post a picture on Instagram. The chest plate for the um, Commander is simply enormous. When I took it out of the package, I thought it was the back of the armour because it was so big. Uh, the helmet's a bit odd, I must admit, um, because in-game it would have pieces of armour along the four mandibles around the mouth. However, Mega can't do that in this small detail because it would just be too hard to do and the price would be passed on to us and this set would be considerably more expensive. So for what we've got, this figure is really amazing. Um, taking a quick look at the Storm Elite that comes with it, it is just a basic Storm Elite. I know a lot of people are already getting bored of the Storm Elite, but it is ground, it is the cannon fodder effectively of the Elite, of Jullum Dharma's Covenant. It's always good to get more of these. And in purple, which is the Covenant colour, it's very good. Uh, we also have a Grunt Storm. Oh, it hardly fits in the camera, it's so small. Um, let it focus a bit better. Um, Grunt's Storms are common. They're in near enough every single last blind pags back to all about Alpha. Uh, I have probably about 50 of them in the different colours. This is my first purple one, however. Uh, Grunts in Halo 5 are purple or blue, so we've already got a blue one, so this is the purple one, so Mega really are completing all the game accurate things with this set. Um, it's a very good figure. Uh, finally, figure wise, we have the Jackal. Um, the Jackal could do with SP. I've always been a bit iffy about SPing up more Covenant. Grunts definitely don't need it. The Jackals, I think, will hopefully get it next. Um, this is the first time we've actually ever got a Jackal in purple. Um, if we turn it around, it does have some very nice silver detailing on the back that I noticed. Uh, this is much nicer than some of the other Jackals that we've got recently that tend to be in just a grey colour. This Jackal does actually come with a yellow shield. There. Uh, we've had yellow shields a lot. It would have been really cool and interesting to see a purple shield. It's not game accurate, but... I don't really care, I just wanted to see a bit more different, really. Um, as we've just started on this sort of accessories and weapons, uh, let's take a look at them. So we have, with this set, we don't have any new weapons, sadly. We could have got a concussion rifle, but I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm not complaining. Uh, two plasma grenades, seen these a lot. We've all, always seen them a lot, really. They've been around since before I can remember. Um, we also have this Covenant plasma battery um this is a very interesting piece of equipment that megablocks hardly ever use they've used it in one set before back in about 2011 and not since why i don't know 
They've done this with a few items, and I was saying with the sticky detonator. We got it in 2013 a few times, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to see this again. This is actually my first plasma battery, um, and I will be getting more of this set because it is that good. So I will end up getting a few more. Uh, we have a carbine in the nice sort of indigo purple that this set is focused around. That's always nice. Carbine's getting on now. Maybe we could get a new one. Hint, hint, mega blocks. Um, the storm rifle. It's a storm covenant set, so a storm rifle is very fitting. Um, the new needler in the needlerish colour, whatever you want to call it. Uh, needler can go with the jackal or the grunt mainly. And finally, weapon wise, we have the new plasma pistol, which really is one of my personal favourite weapons at the moment particularly the painted one out of the Elite Customizer pack. It's probably one of the best weapons Megablox has ever made. So if we have a look at the other aspects of the set, we get a small terrain piece with a plasma shield. Yet again, another piece of equipment that we have not got since about 2012 brought back in this set. It really is introducing some new things and bringing back some things that people will just never seen before. It is fantastic. Um, typical sort of old style armory pack base plate, enough to put one figure on I guess. Then we also get two of these barricades. Um, yet again, another thing we haven't seen since the Revenant attack in 2011 I believe. This set, we get two of them in this sort of, same colour as the Needler colour. Um, it's, they're fantastic really. Um, more just useful bits for the Covenant to have which we haven't had for a long time. So in conclusion, if I move all this stuff back on camera, oh, that grunt fell over, what would I say about this set? Well, as you probably have heard already, I've said it's fantastic about three or four times. Because it is. It is a really, really good army builder. We've got common troops in a nice colour that you can just pose against your Spartan team. You can pose against your new figures from Fire Team Stingray. It is a very good set. Uh, the only complaint about this set and Fire Team Stingray would be they don't have base plates for the figures to stand on. This isn't really a problem for a lot of people, but I just, as you can see here, the grunt's fallen over just because I wibbled the table a little bit. It's just nice to put your figures on something so they don't fall over. So I have got to find base plates or something else from elsewhere. But ignoring that, it is a good set if you see either. Of the two new fire teams, I highly recommend getting them. They are probably some of the best fire teams I've ever made. And Taurus, that's pretty good too, as you've seen Jonathan's reviewing that in the past. So yeah, this is Ben signing out today with his first two reviews for the SS Motion. I hope you like them. Comment below about what you think about the Covenant Storm Lance set. And I'll see you in the future.